sampling part two. Uh, I'm going to look at um, creating a, a real sounding bass instrument, some from, from some real real recorded bass samples. Uh, what I've got here is I've I'm just recorded um, bass notes, single bass notes from E1 through to E2, um, played with fingers. I've let them ring out for two bars of four, roughly. Um, I've then recorded similar again, E1 through to E2 with a slap bass note. And then I've recorded a set from E2 to E3 of pops. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to program this first set of sounds across E1 to E2. The second set I'm going to layer on top of the first set and play with the velocities so that depending on the velocity or depending which sample plays back and then I've got my other set which I will put across um, the notes that they're recorded at so that you can have a slap and a pop in as well and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So the first thing I did after recording them was cut them up into their single notes uh, and now I'm going to convert them into real audio regions of their own so if we just click to select them all I'm going to just put a, a slight fade in of just 10 milliseconds and fade out just to make sure there aren't any glitches on the notes um, uh, I'll do the same, my fade in didn't work okay so once I've done that I'm going to right click or control click uh, and convert to new audio files uh, I'm going to put them in the in a, a new base samples folder leave them as they were recorded sample array and everything so hit save and that has made them all real their own audio files once that's finished going so the next thing I'm going to do is just load up a blank it's S24 using a software instrument. Go down to EXS24 mono because it's a bass sound and all my samples are mono. And I'm going to click edit. Right. And what I'm going to do next is I can just drag and drop them in. So select them all, drag and drop them. And then what it allows me to do is decide whether I auto math by reading the root key from the audio file um, drums zone without range but the root key from the audio file or contingu contiguous zone so I want it to run from which starts at E1 so I'm going to use the last one here and then it will map them on individual notes for each one um, and I want the zone width to be one note each and I want it to start from E1 so that's where I recorded from so if I click OK there we go and it's mapped them across the notes here at the minute that's ringing out and I don't want that so it's because one shot is on so if I turn one shot off for all of those it will mean that I can control the length of the notes and that's the reason I let the notes ring out for as long as I did so that I can either have you have to ignore the noise on these um, the bass needs rewiring and so there's a bit of hum on it but it shows you the point So I can control the length of the note now because I've switched one shot off. And it just... Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is transfer across um, my slap bass notes. So if I grab those, I'm going to do the same thing, click and hold, drag and drop them down into there. And I'm going to set the same note range again from E1 and contiguous and one note per note click OK OK so as you can see that's mapped them all across now OK so we've got so the minute's playing double the notes and again it's put it automatically on one shot so we're going to take one shot off because I don't want that And now what I need to do so I can control which note plays when, I need to click on show velocity. And at the minute, they're all showing this same range of velocity. Okay, I have to bring them down, sorry. So I'm going to start with 
the normal notes. Okay, so to do that, I've selected the just normal fingered bass notes, and I'm going to bring the velocity of those down to zero to one ten. Okay, now I'm going to select the other ones and hopefully bring that up. There we go until that says one eleven. So now when I'm playing on the keyboard, if I program a sound in, um, we'll get a difference in the note depending on the velocity, which I'll show you very quickly now. Um, but before we do that, we just need to save this instrument. So I'm going to go to Instrument, Save As. Okay, we'll drop it into my own folder here of bases within the Sampler Instrument folder, and we'll call this, we'll just call it John Gill bass with noise Make it say. and just to demonstrate that velocity if I create an empty MIDI region on here so open up the event list and just make two notes okay we'll make them So at the minute, when I play them, I'm getting the slow sound. If I bring that down to, there we go. Okay, so same note, but because I've played with the velocities, when I'm below 110, I get my fingered one, and when I'm above it, I get the slapped one. Okay, so the last thing to do, to finish off this bass sound. I've just chosen an octave, you could go the two octaves if you want to, but to change this, what we're going to do is grab the um, the pops, and in fact I'm going to ignore the E2 one, because I've got that, that's going to overlap, so I'm just going to go from F2, do the same again, drag and drop them in, Start it from F2, same one there, click OK. Let's go and turn the one shot off of those. So you can you can go in and just select all if you want to, but we'll just quickly click through, which it is. So now I should be able to program in a slap and a pop if I want to. F2 so I've now got my slap and my pop so go back to the very start go to instrument save close that back to the very start and I can solo up this and I could program that through as I wanted to and I've got a slap and a bass and a pop on there and that's how you could do it. You can do that with anything, do that with a guitar, um, piano. Um, you know, if you want to go through and record every different variation, you can. You can set different velocities so it brings in different notes. Or you can just create one bass instrument that is fingered, one that pops and slaps. Um, and that's how you do it.